Welcome back to Leaders Tool Chest. My name is Keith Cogger. I'm a prominent leader in the aerospace industry, and I'd like to thank you for coming to uh, see my video again today. Uh, today we've got an excellent book. I'll go ahead and we'll show you. It is the Alien Thinking. Um, this book. Let me go ahead and uh, start the slideshow. I've got a little bit put together here. Is by uh, Cyril Bouquet, John Luis. Barso and Michael Wade. It is an excellent book. Uh, today I want to go ahead and just go over um, some of the amazing aspects and how I can uh, um, articulate what this book is really about and and just give you some in-depth details on why you should read it. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you up front, I highly recommend this book. So just in case anyone doesn't have time to watch the rest of this video, but uh, if you can, hit the share, hit the like button. Uh, exciting times. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. Uh, I've been trying to catch up on my reading. been extremely busy here in uh, the Space Coast. And uh, it's, an, it's an amazing time to be down here um, working for some of the, uh, the best and the brightest in the, uh, the space industry. So uh, with that, um, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll get started into uh, why I believe this book is fantastic. Um, so this book is all about the alien model. It's about how um, it's basically it's a model that you follow on a it's a process on how you can continue to um, develop and, and move a project along. Um, the alien is an acronym. It's for attention, levitation, imagine, experiment and navigate, which is um, I think each one of those words has a, a significance, and I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll uh, continue to share, uh, break down what each one of them is. Uh, attention is to validate with fresh eyes and allow the team to evaluate with no experience or from a different perspective. That is, um, that's some of these things are are you know well known concepts, but not everyone is really good at um, executing on them. Uh, there's also levitation, enrich your understanding and step away from a project or idea, be able to take a step back, and uh, how can you um, continue to uh, use your experience but to give a new perspective and, and understand the, the, the issues that you're having. And then we've got the imagine, take an unorthodox approach and continue to evolve that idea. This book has great stories on how uh, people that um, – um, were different parts of the world and they were part of different projects and how they're um, using their different perspective to, to gain and leverage that experience in new and creative ways. Uh, experiment, quickly evaluate the process and draw conclusions on a project. That's, uh, that's with every project, but it, it's really great that they, um, they incorporate that into this methodology. And then navigate. Uh, identify hostile environments from all around you to the process and continue to develop the ideas and the process. Um, I feel like that's a, a very important aspect, too, because sometimes it's not outside forces. It's inside of your organization that um, they're they're fighting against this uh, newer I ideology and um, just winning people over. It's, it's a very uh, important aspect of uh, uh, continuing to make this um, process and model work. Um, then, you know, uh, the, the number one thing I got out of this book was, and this is one of my favorite uh, quotes I've heard in a long time. Sometimes we're so quick to answer, we forget to ask better questions. Now you say, okay, well, you know, that, that doesn't really speak to me. Well, I'm in a port, a portion of my life where that speaks volumes to me because I'm at a, I'm at a place where. I've, uh, I've been in those scenarios where we need to quickly make a decision, we need to be decisive, we need to be um, just just making something happen, and because of that, we, we weren't able to look further down the road. And when you're in manufacturing or, uh, you know, especially being in a leadership role, you need to be able to take as many details, weigh those risks, and this is just like a, a perfect example of um, being able to step back and look at something and say, okay, we can either fix this the easy way right now or we can fix it the hard way and we'll never have to fight this issue again. And I think that's a absolutely perfect um, example of what leadership is. It's not always taking the easy road, um, but to identify these risks and uh, to mitigate them and um, make sure they don't come back later on. 
So in conclusion, I think this is a must read for anyone that wants to continue growing as a leader. Um, if uh, you want to explore creativity, this book has uh, excellent um, stories that just continue to um, um, tell you that this methodology has worked in the field. And it just shows you that um, just because you're a subject matter expert on something doesn't necessarily mean that you can actually solve all your problems. Sometimes you need that that perspective coming from another uh, industry or um, type of field that that maybe they've seen some type of creative uh, way to solve a problem that you've never experienced before. And I think just being open to that is just just makes you such a, a better leader. And um, I mean, to be honest, it's just one of those things where um, we're always continuing to learn, we're always continuing to grow. And I think that's one of the greatest things, just uh, always having someone just to just help you just uh, continue to find new and creative ways to uh, explore your, uh, you know, just your, your full potential. So um, I want to thank you again, like and subscribe to my channel. I've been taking feedback from um, some people that have uh, been uh, giving me different ways that I can uh, continue to um, grow this channel. Uh, I'm looking forward to bringing more videos and uh, get a chance. Um, just leave me a comment and uh, continue to uh, support the Leaders Tool Chest. So my name is Keith Coger, and I want to thank you again, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.